When it comes to cancer, the conventional wisdom has always been take it out, remove the tumor, or kill it with drugs, maybe radiation, ASAP. But some men with prostate cancer are now taking a different approach. At UCLA Medical Center, roughly 300 prostate cancer patients are foregoing cancer treatment and they're just leaving the prostates intact. Their only treatment, if you will, is regular checkups and annual prostate biopsies. They call that active surveillance. Men actively keep tabs on the cancer, but really only undergo treatment if doctors find that there is a significant change in all of this. Now, joining me now uh, is urologist Dr. Leonard Marks. He's professor of urology at UCLA Medical Center. And Eddie Carrillo, Eddie was uh, told that he had prostate cancer 10 years ago. Two doctors urged him to get surgery immediately. Eddie decided, no, I don't think I want to. And Eddie, I'm going to let you pick it up from there. What, what gave you the temerity to make that decision? Well, the idea of having the uh, prostate removed didn't seem to me the best thing for me as a person. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've had uh, friends who had prostate cancer, and the results of their, of their surgery didn't seem to be where I would wanted to go personally. Well, I mean, do you mind if I say this? I mean, I, I think, I mean, if I was put in that position, any man would be worried about incontinence possibilities, sexual performance possibil problems afterwards. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. This is something that, uh, as I've gotten older, that uh, we, it's more open to talk about yeah. with, with my friends and family. And those were the particular problems that we came up with. So now, did you, and you got to Dr. Marks, did you? Well, I had a regular physician who found out that I had a high PSA, referred me to another urologist, uh -huh. and it was like a cattle call to where, let's go have the prostate taken out, not really examining me, really not going through any research with me personally. Scary, isn't it? Yeah. Then I happened to hear a, a research that was, a study that was going to be done at Dr. Marks's office. So I contacted him, and uh, we became physician and patient. And you got on it. Now, Dr. Marks, hey, you're a cutter. You're a surgeon, right? I am. And yet, you're really following this line of just watch these, these tumors. Yes. Well, Eddie is a great example of how prostate cancer care can be made more rational. Uh, I don't believe in following every case of prostate cancer without treatment. But Eddie's a good example, a living example, of how you can go more than 10 years without any major intervention. And in fact, isn't it true that 80% of men who have, or in their 80s, will have evidence of prostate cancer? In other words, we're all going to get it. The statistics are that about 80% of men in their 80s will be found to have microscopic foci in their prostate glands. But even in younger men, uh, even in men in their 30s, 30% may have these small spots of non-lethal prostate cancer that can be found, and we detect these on prostate biopsy. It, it, doctor, is it true that all prostate cancer is slow growing or are there different kinds of cancer within the prostate? No, there are different kinds of prostate cancer. The biopsy is, is everything. That's why we follow our people like Eddie very carefully with biopsy. Uh, if it's now, When you say follow, I'm interrupting you, it's called ASCAP? Our program at UCLA, we call it ASCAP, Active Surveillance for Cancer of the Prostate. Okay. Uh, these are for men with what we judge to be low risk prostate cancer men who we think will die with rather than of this little spot. Now, this, this biopsy, is this, a, is this a, a, a painful and difficult procedure to do every year? No, uh, it's, it's a minimal discomfort. It, uh, I had a lot of anxiety when he first came up with this idea, but uh, I got confidence in the doctor. And it's like a thump, a pinch. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to take 10 pieces, 10 to 12, and it's, it's a matter of uh, maybe four minutes, it's, it's over with. Eddie, Eddie, do you mind me asking, 10 years post, how, has your cancer progressed much? Can you even tell? No, the uh, last examination, last biopsy, it was uh, no change at all. And uh, he suggested maybe we could even wait two years. This is amazing for so many men who have gone through this surgery over mm -hmm. the past 30 years, thinking they have to cut that, you know, that tumor out. Dr. Marks, thank you so much. Eddie? Congratulations, man. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> well, now that's another, that's another story we'll have to handle. All right.